Hi, everyone. I am so excited to finally be sharing Margie's book. <music> I am going to be hosting a little giveaway where I'm going to be giving away some Margie merch. You'll see a picture of that somewhere. But all I really want is just for people to share some of their stories with me. Um, if you have a pet that you've rescued or if you got through traditional means of whatever that is, um, just kind of sharing um, your pet stories. And so I don't have the final book because the book doesn't actually release until April 29th, which is my wedding anniversary. So that'll be a wonderful present for me, for anyone who decides to pick up the book that day. But I do have the final proof. <laughs> and so when I say final, I do mean that it has gone through three other proofs beside this one. And this is the one that I was like, yes, it's finally ready. And so I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I am going to share just like a little bit of it, just so you kind of see, um, you know, the story that I'm, I'm telling. It's um, Some of it's pink on the inside because Margie's color is kind of red because she's a red bone. And so um, I'm just going to share a little bit of this with you guys. Here we are. Um, this is page one, and um, it's it's um, told from two perspectives. So any of the pages that have like her on them are from her perspective, and then us humans kind of have a, a little small role in her story. So it says, "The nights here are so long and dark. At least I can hear the other dogs breathing, and I know I'm not alone." And so this is from her point of view, where she's in the shelter and she doesn't even know there's a possibility that she could have a home with some humans. And so here we are. Next couple of pages, it says, a door cracks open. What was that? I hope it's one of the nice humans who feeds us. So as you can see, we're kind of going through this process of what's happening on the day that we meet Margie. And, and so it goes through the whole story. I'm not gonna you know, give too much of it away here, but I wanted you to kind of see a little bit of what was on the inside. Here we have her again, you know, what was that? So the book is actually called um, Margie the Scaredy Dog Finds a Home and she's the scaredy dog for a reason. <laughs> and so when you get to the end of the book, which all of this, you know, wonderful, you know, illustrated pages or whatever, this is really, you know, for the kids. But then at the end, um, I really kind of went back and forth over this with my beta readers and things like that. They just felt like some of them, like this information is just kind of too much for kids, which I totally agree but I didn't want to take it out because this is where I really get into Margie's story. And so at the end where it says, this is just the beginning, I have this whole little section here and this is for the whole family. And it says that in the book. And this is really where I share like some real pictures of Margie um, um, throughout her time with me and my husband, Eric. And it really goes in depth into her story about why she's called the scaredy dog, some different things about her, some really fun pictures of her sharing her life with us. And um, I'm just so proud of the way this book finally came out. Um, this is kind of the little back cover. And of course my face is, you know, blurred out because um, I'm not important. This is Margie's story. And so that's what I really kind of struggled with was um, being able to share the story being a part of it, but really wanting to focus on her as though she's telling the story from her point of view. And so I'm so excited with it. And so I would love for anyone who's interested in maybe winning some of the Margie merch um, to just, you know, share um, their story, their pet story, um, their animal lover story, whatever with me. And um, I'll be leaving some links for you to figure out like how to join that um, giveaway if you're interested. But I'm so happy to finally just be telling her story. She's getting really up in age. She'll be 14 this year in August. And so I wanted to make sure I got this book out before she crossed um, to over the Rainbow Bridge. And so her story is out there releasing on April 29th. It's up for pre-order right now in ebook form. And then on the 29th, people will be able to order like the print book and everything. I am doing a limited release right now. So it will be available through amazon.com. And like I said, I will be leaving links around, but um. I just wanted to share her story and I would love to hear some of your pet stories as well. If you're interested in um, participating in my little giveaway, it's going to be going for a whole month. So you'll have time to, you know, read other people's stories, comment and things like that. And I just really 
have been wanting to do this for a while. This has been a passion project for me. I've been working on it for two years. Um, the main reason it took me two years is because I am not a professional illustrator and it was a real struggle trying to find that balance between pictures that capture the essence of a child without looking too childish, if that makes sense. Like I wanted it to look kind of like a child did it because it's from Margie's point of view. And I feel like, um, I don't know, I just feel like it would be better that way. And anyway, so I wanted to do it myself because again, this is just my love letter to her. And so this is, like I said, this is Margie's story of how she came to live with us. And Margie is, is a tough dog to love sometimes because she has a lot of issues, but it's really, I think the most interesting to me is that a lot of her issues are the very issues that I myself have. And so she and I are a lot alike. Um, she has anxiety just like I do. She has digestive issues just like I do. I mean, it's weird how much this dog and I have in common. And so I just, I just wanted to show that I love her despite how frustrating she can be sometimes. She's, she's a sweetheart um, in terms of, you know, being like a difficult dog. She's not really difficult. It's just, it takes a lot to take care of her. Um, but we do it because, you know, we want to, but this is what we signed up for. I mean, some of it we didn't sign up for, but if you're a pet owner, a, a pet parent, um, I prefer that term, a pet parent, you understand. So yeah, this is it. This is Margie's story. Margie, the scaredy dog finds a home. And that's what this book is actually about. It's literally just telling the story of that first day where we meet her and she meets us and she comes home to live with us. And um, I don't know if I'll do more Margie stories in the future, because like I said, this was quite a feat for me. But if I ever do, um, I, I know that um, and she's out there for the world to kind of see and love. And so that's it. Um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully you guys will be sharing some of your stories with me. Until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Give it a like and also leave me a comment. I would love that. Okay.